Hello, I'm John Harold from Zytron. For the next few minutes, we're going to look at the ink remapping function, which is an option in the Navigator GPS workflow. Ink remapping is a nice option to have if you get a lot of PDFs that have not been created properly for the printing process. An example is when the designer has created custom spot colors that are intended to print as Pantone spot colors or CMYK builds. Here you see a PDF with several spot colors, black, Pantone 199, Pantone blue, and three custom colors of red, blue, and yellow. As I click the colors on and off, you can see how they are separated. I'll run this job through a normal workflow set up for CMYK plus spot colors by dragging the PDF into the workflow. As it completes, you can see that the job has been ripped into six spot colors. Let's look at them in the viewer. If I click the colors on and off, you can see that the rip honored the separations exactly as you saw in the PDF. Unfortunately, this is incorrect and results in too many printing plates being made and additional setup time and cost at the press. To fix this, let's modify the workflow and add the ink remapping step. By the way, you could have ink remapping turned on in all your workflows and not have to make this change later. Once I drag the ink remapping step in, all I have to do is restart the job. The workflow will automatically pause, letting us know that it found spot colors and wants you to have a look. When we highlight it, the ink remapping icon will light up, letting us know we need to take some action. Click the icon and a new window appears. Here you can see the six colors that make up the job. We know that blue is a custom color created as part of Pantone blue, so we'll drag that into that plate. The same goes for red. It should be part of Pantone 199. Custom yellow is supposed to be a CMYK build, so we'll tick the box to use process colors. Now we click Apply. The job is automatically routed to the RIP to create the separations. We now have a five color job as intended. Let's verify this with the viewer. As I click off the separations, you can see that the reds are merged. The blues are merged. And the custom yellow is now a CMYK build made up of yellow, magenta, and black.